This is the Strand Theater in Skowhegan. So it used to be just one, and where you walk in in the lobby, there was like the concession area was right there as you walked in. Now we have a whole new room for the concession and have two new movie theaters. A lot of people think it's haunted. A lot of people come in and ask. More of us believe that it is haunted than others. There was an older couple that came in one night and he used to work here. And either the office downstairs, he said that they'd always have papers flown all over the floor. And then they'd pick them all up and go upstairs, and then go back downstairs and they'd be all over the floor again. It used to be creepier to me when like it was the reels of projector thing in older style, but now with the digital, it doesn't look as scary. I was threading up one day and the girl that I worked with, I thought she was standing right next to me, so I was went to turn and talk to her and she wasn't there. Like I totally saw something in the corner of my eye, but that was it. I went downstairs, had someone go upstairs with me and finish threading up. You go downstairs and there's the office, then you keep going and there's all the candy down there. There's this dark room that's straight. I think it's creepy. <laughs> when I walk by, it's just like a hole in the wall. I had to like carry some junk out and to put it in the dumpster, but that's it. <laughs> I'm glad there's nothing in there. The ice machine is down there. One coworker was walking up after getting ice and like she said that she completely froze and like the ghost like took over her body. She thought she was possessed and after was all scared and was crying. We have a whiteboard on the wall right next to the desk and one of the whiteboard markers just like flew across the room in front of her. I get scared a lot. <laughs> when I'm in the office, I usually put like Pandora on so I can't hear anything and like I'm okay when I'm downstairs, but when I'm like in the projector rooms loading the movies, I get spooked. There was this old man that did come in. He talked to me forever one day when I was doing tickets, and he was like, I know the ghosts that live in here, whatever. They, he called them by their names. There's an apartment upstairs. The older lady that lived up there who died is one of the ghosts that haunted. <laughs>